A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video detailing a fix for AMD's broken drivers. It's a simple fix that changed a couple of settings in the software, and honestly, so many of you guys found it incredibly useful. And I am extremely happy about that. Recently though, I started seeing comments about the 20.2.2 driver. Many of you guys have been saying, hey, my problems are fixed by this driver. So we took it upon ourselves to test it in-house and see, is this the fix that we've been waiting for? Hello and welcome to what is the first ever viewer requested video on this channel. We are going to be taking a look at AMD's 20.2.2 drivers. Now to test these, we did test them in both a clean and a dirty install. We tested by uninstalling our drivers and reinstalling them using AMD's software installer. And we went ahead and updated using the update tool built in to that same software. We did this to ensure that the drivers would work the same whether or not they were done clean or dirty. Fortunately, that is the case. They do work 100% the same and the bugs didn't change version to version. After we got the drivers installed, it was time to try to break it. We set everything to game mode and we started opening up games that we knew were gonna be a problem. We started with Jedi Fallen Order as this game is easily one of the hardest to run on AMD's old drivers. A big problem actually happens right here in the beginning, right as the game is starting up. If the drivers crash, the game will not start. Fortunately, they worked just fine with our gaming settings on, and I was quite shocked to find that the game actually looked better all of a sudden on AMD's drivers. Now, it looks like they did tweak a couple of things, especially around lighting, as these rays and these lens flares, I don't remember seeing them on AMD cards prior. The next game we checked was actually an AMD sponsored title, which was Borderlands 3. This game is set to ultra, and again, our lighting seems a little different. The game also did run a little bit better. Now, running at 70 frames per second is not ideal, but it's FreeSync was actually working. And that was a change from the older driver to this one. We then went ahead and tested Final Fantasy 15. This game ran like hot garbage originally. It had a micro stutter issue that made combat pretty much unplayable. That being said, I am actually happy to report it works. It just works for the first time ever. The game just works. And again, it looks good. It even looks a little bit better than before. And then finally, we went all the way back to Borderlands 1 taking full advantage of that Radeon image sharpening. And again, it just, it looks good. It looks better with the Radeon image sharpening, but it just, it works. Everything just works for the first time in a very long time. And I was essentially over the moon. The gaming setting was working. The games were working. My frame rate didn't suck. And I was just baffled. How did AMD fix their drivers so easily? Well, that's when I decided to dig around a little bit. What it looks like AMD did is they actually optimized for NVIDIA sponsored games a little bit better and they changed the way that the drivers actually respond to certain engines. Unreal Engine in particular, which actually runs Fallen Order and Borderlands, actually differs slightly between the two games. Fallen Order removes the Radeon image sharpening setting altogether when it's trying to run. This is most likely which was causing that game to crash. When I actually launched Time Spy, it automatically detected that I was trying to use Time Spy and it actually turned all the settings off so that the Time Spy run would actually be verified. What it looks like AMD most likely did is they actually made it so that the drivers were a bit more intelligent about what they were doing. Instead of blanket statementing all of the settings, they were actually cherry picking certain games that could and could not use all the functions. Borderlands 1 actually turned on everything, 
all together, and it actually made the game look so much better than it did originally. Borderlands 3 had an increased bloom effect that wasn't there prior, and it appears that AMD did some tweaks to their graphics engine processing, um, specifically in Unreal. This is overall a positive, but then what about the other bug? The bug that uh, was driving everyone nuts, the Google Chrome hardware acceleration bug. Good news is it's not consistent anymore. It used to be every time I restarted my computer, I would have at least one crash in Google Chrome or any other hardware accelerated program. Fortunately, it looks like if I let my PC sit for a couple seconds and then I go on anything hardware accelerated, it seems to be working properly. This is nice because now I can see my full 1080p 60 frames per second footage in real time. Something that you can't do without hardware acceleration. So uh, I just had to pick up the camera to do this a little dirty, but um, I'm in the middle of editing this video about the driver fix and there's one more thing that got fixed that is super important to me as a content creator. This content, like I, I have this in Premiere Pro and I'm editing it. And something that's been an issue with uh, this GPU is actually content scrubbing. It's actually been kind of wonky. Um, but I posted a video detailing a fix for AMD You'll notice this is actually drivers. playing at the full frame rate. Of course, is that, yeah, that's full resolution, full res. 1080p, 60 a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video detailing a fix for AMD's broken drivers. It's a simple fix. It's working and it's never worked this well before. So essentially everything is working a little bit better. Now there is still a bug. It will still black screen if the hardware acceleration is activated before the computer's ready for it but it will recover and then it will resume hardware acceleration. The only other weird bug I got was my gigabit LAN uh, adapter kind of got a little wonky after one of my crashes and I just had to repair my drivers on that, which took like five seconds and now it seems to be working just fine. Essentially, without any drama, without anything crazy, AMD's drivers work for the first time in a long time. I can recommend this software update. If this software update doesn't work for you, try my other fix. Try setting everything to standard. There might be some games that are still not acting properly. Let AMD know when you get that crash report, you can always submit a crash report to them. Submit your crash reports on a game by game basis because what looks like ha is happening is AMD is actually physically having to disable certain settings for certain games. The gaming setting is now worth it for the first time ever because it actually does change the way that the games are running and being rendered. Essentially, I'm getting more consistent frame rates out of this card than I got in my original testing and I actually am gonna to have to go back and retest my GPU with these settings on. I know that you can get an extra 10% performance out of the tessellation feature alone which is one of those things that can cause problems. Essentially, if you continue to have problems, run everything at standard, and then select the game, change the settings for that game specifically. If you're not running into any problems though, enjoy, because it looks like it's, it, it's just honestly amazing what these games look like through AMD software right now. But yeah, I, I'm just I'm just shocked, honestly. They're fixed. So yeah, I know that's not the answer a lot of people are actually expecting. To be honest, there are some people who are still having problems. Um, if you are still having problems with your card, go ahead and download GPUZ. Check your temperatures because there are actually a couple of 5700 XTs that actually have serious temperature problems, specifically with VRMs. Um, your VRM temperature should not go above 110 degrees if I'm not mistaken. Uh, anything over that is actually gonna cause voltage irregularities and that actually will still cause that black screening issue. It looks very, very similar to the driver crashes because it's uh, the GPU crashing itself. 
Um, more importantly, if your GPU is going too high, reach out to MSI, Asus, Gigabyte, whoever makes your card. Most of the time, they can either send out a part or you can RMA it. Um, I mean, I, we had to RMA a uh, 2080 that my roommate uses um, because of its own problems. So most of these companies are pretty good as long as the card has been purchased within a year of uh, just allowing you to fix it. Asus, uh, if you have a Strix or a Tough model card, they've already issued out screws for those. So just reach out and uh, hopefully you can get a hold of them. I hope, honestly, that this is the end of our 5700 XT woes. Because for the first time in a long time, I can without a doubt recommend AMD GPUs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I do content like this every so often. Actually, I try to do tech content once a week, if not more. So uh, yeah, thank you guys again. Wolfie, out.